So drum roll please, this year in the month of February, I made a grand total of... Today is the 25th of February and all in all a very very good day. The sun is shining, people are vibing, we're here by the beach and a few months ago Nicola Sturgeon promised that The Scottish Government will give every full-time NHS and adult social care worker £500 as a one-off thank you payment. And lo and behold I opened up my bank account this morning and there was a little bit of money there waiting for me. Sure it's not the biggest sum of money in the world, especially after tax, but it's not just about the money. And at the end of the day, you don't do medicine for the money, right? Anyways, Nicola also announced this week that hairdressers won't be open for another two months. So I'm back to relying on Ikari and her surprisingly good skills of a pair of scissors. Right, so what do we think? Out of 10, what are we rating Ikari's hairdressing skills? So for the rest of this video, I want to talk a bit more about that phrase. Don't do medicine for the money. If you're applying for med school and you know a doctor, then you probably will have heard this phrase. And you're not really sure if they're just being humble and downplaying their salary, or if they're like, hint, hint, I wish I could do another job. And I figured the most transparent thing I can do if you're thinking about applying for medical school is to just show my payslip and you can see what you think. So drum roll please. This year, in the month of February, I made a grand total of 3,211 pounds. I don't know if you were expecting higher number, lower number, but let's break it down a little bit. Watch the breakdown. So if you look at the top of my pay slip, there's a bit that says current annual salary, 25,691 pounds. And what that number represents is my annual salary if I was to only work 40 hours a week with no antisocial hours, so no night shifts and no weekend shifts. And if you've watched my past two videos, you'll know that a foundation doctor job with no night shifts or no weekend shifts is a unicorn. You've heard about them, but they don't exist. It's all a lie. So if you look a little bit further down, they divide the current annual salary by 12 to give 2,140 pounds. And that should be my monthly basic pay. But because of my current contract, where in reality, I'm working 48 hours a week and I work a lot of weekend shifts, a lot of night shifts, I get banded up. And what that means is I get a multiplier put on top of that basic pay to give me that 3,000 and something pounds, before tax that is, before tax. And if I was to times that 3,200 by 12, then that would be 38,400 pounds, which pretty okay. I mean, according to these stats, the average full-time pay in the UK is 31,000 pounds. So 38,000 pounds straight out of uni sounds pretty great. But you have to consider that these stats also say that the average working week for someone full-time in the UK is 36 hours, not 48. So I think a more fair metric would be my pay per hour. If you take the banded pay, the 3,000 something pounds, then my pay per hour is 17 pounds an hour. If you were to take my basic pay, the 2,000 pounds and work out the hourly rate there, it's 13 pounds 38. So I reckon most foundation doctors in year one are making between 13 pounds to 17 pounds an hour. And you can go on Google, look up hourly rates and see if you think that's a good pay for a doctor. Spoilers, it's not that great. So now a few caveats and a few considerations. Now obviously all the numbers I'm talking about in this video are pre-tax. I wish I was taking home 3,200 pounds a month, but we live in a society. And therefore I pay tax, but tax also does kind of pay me. But overall tax and pensions and national insurance means that my overall take home salary for the month of February was around £2,350. And secondly, I'm an FY1 straight out of university in my first year of working. There is some earning potential further down into career. If I decide to speed run my way into consultancy, whether that be medical or surgical, it'll probably take me nine to 10 years. And at that point, I'd probably be making closer to 80 or 90,000 pounds if things stay as they are. 
But at the same time, there's definitely people who got the same grades as me at school, did a different degree, went into maybe law or banking after uni, and they're making that 80 to 90K two or three years after uni. And whilst I say I'm straight out of university, let's not forget that medical school is six years long compared to the average three years in England. So you're missing out on three years of pay and three years of progression in your salary. And of course, this is quite a short term way of looking at things, but it's probably why doctors are telling you you don't do medicine for the money. If you're good enough to make it into medical school, there's definitely far easier ways of hitting that upper middle class income far more quickly. But at the same time, I'd say that the career of medicine is a lot more stable and a lot more predictable. Even in the worst case scenario, in a pandemic, you're gonna need doctors. Even if you pass medical school with the worst grades and you don't interview particularly well, you probably will end up with a job as a senior doctor where you're making the same as all the other doctors. Whereas the same probably can't be said for lawyers or bankers. And look, a job isn't just about the money. Most of the time, I really like being a doctor. Sometimes I really hate being a doctor, but I can say that all the time, I love getting paid for doing what I'm doing as a doctor. Can I say that about law banking? I don't know. So I hope this video gives you a little bit of insight into what you can expect to make when you come out of medical school. If there's any other aspect of being a doctor that you want to find out about, then let me know in the comments down below. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. can save that money in the bank. Ballin' out like an FY1. Ballin' out like an FY1. You should pay doctors more. I mean, look at me. This is all I can afford. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs>